Does it work if I'm sitting or do I need to be standing? People in the back, people in the front. We good? All right. I want you to end up sitting like this though. Um, so the way this is going to work is we have three kind of primary questions that we're going to go through. Um, and each of this is going to discuss them brief for a few, you know, five, ten minutes each of the questions. So the first question we had was around what does taking ourselves seriously mean? What is What do we mean by that title? And then also what are some of the hindrances and some of the things that we see in modern, in the anarchist movement today or anarchist milieu today? Um, and so I thought I'd open the panel by laying out kind of a basic working definition we're going off of. And this is the thing that kind of came about pretty quickly, so it's not from any textbook or anything about anarchism, but... Socialism is defined broadly as the idea that we can run society without capitalism. That we can run, we can run our society without capitalism, we can distribute resources through the state. And we can live in a world without exploitation, which is... And while well, anarchism has always contended that we can actually live in a world without the state, and also not only without, dom without exploitation, but also without dominance, which means hierarchy. So there's, that's, kind of, that's how we see anarchism separating itself from regular other socialist movements. Um, so the thing about anarchism that I always found interesting is that we're contending, we're putting out this idea that we can run society without a state, <coughs> And we can run society together and collectively, and we can we can figure out how to do this. Like that's kind of why I'm an anarchist. I think that's why we're all anarchists because we think that there's a better way of doing this. And ultimately, I think that has to come from a place of faith on some level in in humans in the idea of doing this. Um, I don't see how you can say that you believe in anarchism. So you want to live in a world without a state, but you also think human beings are terrible or evil or should just be eliminated or like a list of the, the following because I don't know about anybody else but if people are those things then I would actually the logical conclusion of that is then we should have a state to regulate and that's the argument that capitalists have made for decades that human beings are these things therefore the state is necessary to regulate people's impulses and behaviors um, and, if, and if that is your premise, if you do think that human beings are those things, then for me, and I don't think there's any, there's no judgment about that, that's a perfectly logical thing to think about human beings, and there's plenty of evidence to that that you can point to. Um, but to me, then, that would mean I would be a Leninist, or I would be a Maoist, or whatever, because that, those are frameworks where there's still some level of social <laughs> care, social things that related to, you know, resource allocation, etc., but that control for the fact that human beings are those things. Um, and so that's why I'm an anarchist, because I actually have some level of faith in human beings to figure these things out if we, we work this out together. Um, and going from this, uh, talking about some of the, the things that in modern anarchism that are interesting to me is, uh, last year I went to Guatemala for a while, and... Um, oh. Um, last year I was in Guatemala for a while and I was talking to some villagers who'd been ex-communist guerrillas who'd fought in a liberation struggle, a national liberation struggle. Um, and I was introduced as an anarchist, like an anarchist comrade who'd come from the U.S. And the, the, the first question was, oh, what does that mean? What do you, what does being an anarchist mean in the U.S.? And I was like, well, it means I don't, it means I think that capitalism is wrong, we should live in a non-hierarchical society. And they kind of gave a vague broken Spanish explanation for what I was trying to say. And he's like, but what are you actually doing to get, like, what are you doing? And I was like, not much. <laughs> it's, and he's like, it's a lot, to, it's not hard to say anything. I can say a lot of things right now. And it doesn't, but it doesn't make it real. If you're not acting on those things, it doesn't do anything. And that was like a really humbling and kind of, and I mean, just humiliating and embarrassing moment to think about. I was like, damn, that does suck. Like, because it's, it is embarrassing in a lot of ways when you travel to, because of the reputation we have as a North American anarchist. Like, we don't have much that we can show. We're like, yeah, well, we shut down the WTO once, and uh, then there was a few other things we figured out. And what we're, what we're saying is the dominant 
some of the ideas within anarchism, horizontal organizing, uh, consensus, etc., have actually permeated other aspects of modern life. Like they're in other places. Society has actually, and the left especially, has either co-opted or just adopted a lot of the things that we that we believe, either out of you know uh, some sort of malice or also just because they're better ways of doing things. But we're not part of that. Like we're not in that dialogue. We're kind of out here while this is all going on. And so our goal is, I mean, at least my goal is to bring us back into that dialogue, is to bring us back in as part of the conversation about which what we're doing with society. Um, and to me, and it comes from an ethical obligation. If I think that there is, if I think, and especially being in the first world and being North American, it's like, if I think that I'm an anarchist, if I say that I'm an anarchist, then the other half of that is that means I have to do something towards that end. I have to do something towards getting us there. Because it's a lot, you can say whatever you want about your life. I can just say that I'm an anarchist and I think that, you know, society would be wonderful if we didn't have these things. And then I just chill on the couch and watch our direct TV and watch my Lakers game. Um, and, you know, whatever else, it, it, there's nothing to it, right? Um, and I'm just going to go there and say, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. You've taken on a title of an anarchist, and that's a very powerful thing. One, because it brings the state's attention to you, um, and it, it makes you something that people are going to actually, they're perking their ear up. It's like, you're an anarchist. That means a lot of things to a lot of people. And if we, if we go there, we have to also follow through with something towards those ends.